What is Gorilla Tag? Gorilla Tag is a free to play game that can be played on a VR headset. There are 10 players in a lobby and one player is selected at random. The player that is selected turns into an infected gorilla. This makes the player look like it's covered in lava. The infected player has one goal and that is to tag everyone else. A new round will begin when everyone is infected. Then someone will randomly become infected starting the game again. Many people love this game because you're able to move easily and freely. This means every round is unique. One major reason for this is by using your arms to swing from tree to tree. There's also many obstacles you can climb and jump off of. I have a few questions to ask different people. Let's start off with this player. The first question being, what is your favourite update and why? My favourite update has to be the Halloween ghost. Because every 10 minutes, the skeleton ghost will leave its grave and chase a random person. There's a thrill, this is thrilling because you don't know who is going to be. It was scary running away. In my opinion, I love the Canyons update and so do many others. This is because they have added many new things. One of them being ropes you can swing on to get across the map quickly. Also, there are ropes on top of the map that you can hold onto and it slides you around the map. How does it work? Gorilla Tag works by using the controllers to track your hands in game. This means if you reach for a branch in real life, it will happen in the VR world. One problem this does create is many new players find that their arms ache not long after playing. This is a great step in making gaming more immersive because you can wave and even point with your fingers to interact with other players. Also, when someone laughs, you can see their hand gestures which can show personality and make the game feel more realistic. I started playing around a year ago and I used to play a lot more than now. I also used to play the competitive game mode this is because you have to unlock it by doing parkour. I preferred the competitive game mode because the lobbies were not filled with new players, therefore it would always test your skills. This also meant you would learn new things. The next question is, do you like the game graphics? What do you like about them? I'm not too sure on the graphics because they are very simple and look unfinished. However, the game is fun and I'm used to them now. At first, I struggled to see people from far away because of the graphics. Yes, I love them. This is because it reminds me of an old game I used to play called Terraria. They are very simple and it looks a lot like pixel art. I love how the graphics look and I don't want them to change. I think the graphics are unique, which makes the game very memorable. And another great thing about the graphics is because they are simple, it means the battery life on my headset will last longer. This is because my headset isn't as in much strain. How many maps are there and what do they look like? The first one is the main one that everyone goes to and this is called the forest. This is cool because at each season the forest changes. The next map is the desert known as canyons. This has had a recent big update with loads of ropes and bridges. A lot of people are a big fan of this update. This map is called crystals. It's not very popular, however, loads of players go down to the mines and that's because there's loads of different game modes you can play. This map is pretty new, the clouds give you a low gravity feeling, however, it's not very popular. When the map first came out, everyone was in this. This is because there was many new mechanics, such as moving objects. They also added crazy beanstalks. Because of the low gravity, many players found it tricky. What game modes are there so that it's not repetitive? This game mode is called Hunt. There's a watch on your wrist and it will show you what your target is. This target is green with a party hat and I know this guy's chasing me so he has me. I try and avoid him, getting all my targets so I can win the game. The next game mode is Infection. This is the most popular one. One gorilla will randomly be selected to be lava 
their job is to tag every other player until the next game. This is a new game mode, it's called Slingshot. Each squirrel has three balloons on their head. Once they get hit, they'll have two, then one, and then they'll be out. Each team is randomly selected with blue and orange. Eventually, it gets intense when there's only one player left. The final question is, how long have you played for and what VR headset do you use? I've played the game for around four months and I've grown to like the game. I play on an Oculus Quest, which means the battery life isn't great. I have played for two years now. Whee! <laughs> and I play on the Valve Index. Here's some gameplay of me trying to stay alive. I'm the last monkey left and I'm trying not to get caught so the round doesn't end. As you can see there's different obstacles you can find. You can try and send the monkeys different directions so they don't get you and it's also pretty funny. However this can lead to people being toxic. I'm just trying to make them go the wrong direction so they don't get me. Like they they think I'm going to go up but I actually end up going down. There's also a place where everyone goes to buy cosmetics. This means you can express yourself through different items, such as this guy has a party hat and a guitar. I have a fly mask here and horns. And this red monkey has a blue hat with some cool glasses on. There's also cool items such as balloons, like here. Other players can interact with them, such as pushing it around or even throwing things to pop it.